It's a standard prenuptial agreement. Seems like the best way to expedite things. We need to hammer out a deal before our wedding. A deal? You want to hammer out a deal? So there are no surprises for either one of us. Clint, I'm not marrying you for your money. I'm marrying you to give my best friend's baby a better life. These results will prove once and for all whether or not you're the father of Stacy's baby. I don't under understand. How did you run a DNA test? I never asked for one. I know. I did it anyway. Let's do this. I want to file for custody of my sister's baby. What? Gee, Gigi, what are you talking about? I think you heard her. I'm going to raise my sister's daughter. When Sierra is ready, she's coming home with me. Eli, are you in the business of taking babies away from their biological parents now? Why, did you think you had that market cornered when you did the same thing to Manning? Cheap shots from my personal life. You must really have no case. No, no, our case is just fine, thanks to your client. All we want to do is protect this baby. From her father? Your client is the baby's aunt. She doesn't stand a chance of getting custody. Gigi, Gigi, I know I've made some mistakes. I, Skylar, I admit... stop talking, that... okay? Some mistakes? <laughs> Skylar, is there a mistake you didn't make? You know, I don't even care about what you did to me anymore. The only mistakes I care about are the ones that make you unfit to raise this baby. She's my daughter, Gigi. She's my, she's my daughter. I can't believe this. You ran a DNA test without my permission? A after we talked the other day, after you were so adamant about not being a father, I yeah, I, I took your water bottle. You stole a sample of my Come DNA? On, it's not like I cut you while you were sleeping. Yeah, but I told you I didn't want to know. Did, did you not hear me when I said that, Kyle? Yeah, I heard you loud and clear, Oliver. <laughs> but I also heard that you were so nervous and scared about being a gay parent. I know you hadn't fully accepted yourself yet, so there's no way that you could accept raising this child with me. I know you, Oliver. I know you would not be able to live with yourself if you didn't know whether or not Sierra was your daughter. I know you're Sierra's father. In name only. You never cared about her. That's not true. You've been denying her since you found out she was yours. You let Rex think she was his. Yeah, but I made it right. How did you make it right? I told, I told Rex the truth. I told you the truth. Gigi, I nearly died on that mountain trying to get to you. Which you never would have had to do if you hadn't thrown in with Stacy and Kim in the first place. You used the baby to cut between Rex and me. I, I know, I know, and I'm, I'm sorry. How? Do you expect me to believe that you care about her at all now? Because, because I know her now. I, but the, the moment that I saw her, I realized what a jerk I had been. The moment I saw her, I fell in love with her. It's very touching. Let's go. Oh, Gigi, Gigi. Sierra is my daughter, and I care for her. I'm, I lost you, okay? I lost you. But I will not lose her. I will never let her go. Did I say I couldn't live with not knowing if I'm the father of that baby? No, Kyle, you said that, not me. So you're okay with this? Thing? Yes. I don't care if I never know. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, and I don't think you believe that either. So what? You know what? Even if she is mine, I wouldn't saddle that kid with gay parents. Oh, what, what? Now I'm not fit to be a father either? Wait a minute. Is that why you're so anxious to know? You want this baby to be mine so badly that... Do you know already? Do you know already if I'm that baby's father? I ran the tests, but I didn't look at the results. Figured we could do that together. So, so this part you tell me? Just thought we could share finding out. But you didn't think we could share knowing that you were running the test in the first place? Because I knew you'd say no. Yeah, Oliver. you're damn right. Yeah, I thought if I ran the test, if I had the results right here in my hand, that you'd want to know. Oh, because that would make me so happy. No, because it's the truth, Oliver, whatever it is. I, I knew that whatever you found out, one way or the other, I'd be here to find out with you. I really wish you hadn't done this. But I did. Okay, I did. So let's just move ahead and open the envelope and find out whether or not you're the father. It's a great story how you suddenly realized that you love the baby you denied for months. I moved, but I don't believe a word of it. How are you involved in this, Rex? Oh, you let me go on thinking that I was the baby's father and it broke me and Gigi up. That's how. Yeah, well, you're not the father, so... And you are? Gigi doesn't trust you anymore, okay? She doesn't think you can take care of her niece. Skylar. <clears throat> if you care about Sierra as much as you say, 
you'll let her go. If, if you still care about me at all, you'll let me love and nurture her in a way that you never could. Are you trying to get kicked out of medical school again? What? The only reason we know any of this is because you overheard Stacy talking, who was a patient at the hospital. You broke doctor-patient confidence. I don't care. I don't care. I did what I thought was right. Kim threatened to turn you in if we said anything about it. I can live with that. That little girl deserves to know the truth, and so do you. Huh. So now you know what's best for me? Yeah, in this case, yeah, I do. And I don't care if it pisses you off. I do it again in a heartbeat. Oliver, this is the right thing to do. And underneath all of this, you know that. I understand that marrying me will help you get custody of Stacy's baby and that you want to give little Sierra Rose every advantage. And I'm behind you 100% on that. If not, I, I wouldn't have accepted your marriage proposal. But... But baby or not, good intentions or not, you didn't think I was going to marry you without protecting my family's fortune. Gigi, can I talk to you alone for a second, please? Wait a minute. It's all right, Max. Okay. What is it? Okay. I agree that the baby needs all the love and care she can get. And, and when I came in here and you said that you wanted to raise her to... Okay, that threw me a little. It did. But... Honestly, I think it's wonderful. You do. Yes, because she heard, she needs she needs a mother, but she needs a father too. So couldn't couldn't we just could we raise her together? Could we do that? What? I still love you. Okay, I still love you so much. And if you could just if you could somehow get past everything that I put you through, if you could let me make it up to you, then I I think really that you you could love me too. Isn't there some way we could work this out? What about the baby's DNA? Please tell me that you at least had permission to get that. Sierra's a patient. I used blood that was already in the lab. <laughs> Without asking, Kyle, you used stolen samples to run an unauthorized test. I work at the hospital. And didn't you get fired last year for running an unauthorized test for Natalie and Jared Banks? No. I got, I got fired for blackmailing them, okay? Not for running the test. You almost went to prison. Okay, I didn't, though, okay? It all worked out. Oh, and you think that makes it all right? Okay, okay, so, so I, I broke the rules. No, Kyle. No, you didn't break the rules, you broke the law. Kyle, I'm a cop, okay? I can't have knowledge of a crime and not do anything about it. I, I could arrest you for this. Okay, you're a cop, Oliver, but you also could be a father, which to me, I think is way more important than any little rules I might have broken. Gigi, I promise you, we can make this work. We can have a future together. We can give Sierra Rose all the love two parents can. While you're showering Sierra Rose with all this love, don't forget that you stole a drug from the hospital to induce early labor in her mother. But I didn't use it. Okay, fine. Where is it? I didn't use it. Okay, Kim was, Kim was there. And she'll vouch for me. Kim. Your alibi is Kim. Gigi. Gigi? She, she knows I didn't use it. She, Kim will clear me. Clint, I would never steal from you or your family. I thought you knew me better than that. Look, I know I'm not perfect, but I thought you liked me. I do like you. And I'm looking forward to you and the baby living with then me. Then let's give Sierra Rose a home with two parents who trust each other. Let's be good role models for this baby that we're going to be raising together. Just tear this up, okay? Don't turn this into something ugly with contracts and lawyers. 